So this is the Realme 10 Pro 5G. This is the latest mid-range smartphone from the company. And yes, it is now having a new design, some new features, and some new hardware. So what are the main highlights of this smartphone? We got here the 120Hz display, we got here a 108 megapixel main camera, and of course there's the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor, and uh, we're gonna talk about this later on in our first impressions. But first, let me introduce myself. I am Jam of Jamaline.ph, and welcome back to my channel, and today we're gonna discuss and take a closer look at the Realme 10 Pro 5G. So there's the Realme 10 Pro 5G, Main features here, 120Hz display, 695 5G chipset, 108 megapixel camera, 5000mAh of battery, and 33 uh, watts fast charging. We also got here the 8 plus 128 variant in dark matter. Ejector for the SIM card tray. A jelly case. Look at that. I do love the look of the Realme 10 Pro 5G in here. The 33 watts charger. And of course, the USB-A to USB-C cable. Now it's time to set this one up and let's see what's inside the smartphone. Alright, so for the Realme 10 Pro 5G's design, uh, this one is actually a uh, big uh, design change compared to the Realme 9 Pro 5G. So this one comes with a flat back, okay? Flat back, but now we got here the flat frame outside. What does this mean? Well, of course, um, it isn't the best feel that you have on a smartphone. Uh, the flat frame isn't the most ergonomic feel, but it does look premium and it does feel solid. I dropped the smartphone a couple of times even without the case and honestly, I do feel that the flat frame of the Realme 10 Pro 5G is a lot better compared to the curves uh, sides because, I don't know, for some reason, it didn't break on me despite dropping this a lot of times. Yes, the smartphone got a uh, flat frame and um, it's not made up of metal. It's not glass at the back. It's made up of plastic overall, but I do like the uh, materials or the uh, texture or the design that we got here in the uh, dark matter color of the Realme 10 Pro 5G. It does have a cleaner look compared to the previous generation and honestly, looking at it, looking from the back of the smartphone, it does look premium, does look, uh, you know, really nice with those two circular uh, cameras at the back and uh, you see that? That reflection at the back of the smartphone. But of course, I still highly suggest that you use a jelly case whenever you're using the smartphone. On the right of the smartphone, we got here the fingerprint scanner and also the volume rocker. And uh, yeah, it is quite reachable. I do not have any problems with it. The fingerprint scanner is fast and honestly, I still prefer having a um, fingerprint scanner on the home button or the power button of the smartphone or power button rather um, instead of, you know, having an in-display fingerprint scanner because it's, it feels more natural whenever you're using the fingerprint scanner on the power button of the smartphone. Below is the USB Type-C and along with that is the speaker grill and also the headphone jack. Yes, this also means that the smartphone does support your wired um, earphones despite having a lot of wireless earphones that are already cheap in the market. But yeah, it's still nice that we got here a wired um, speaker or wired headphone support with the 3.5mm headphone jack. It's a welcome feature, especially that uh, there are still some people who prefer having a wired earphones versus uh, a wireless one because you know, they, they are afraid that they might lose their TWS earbuds or um, whatever wireless earbuds that they have. And that USB-C port, it supports 33 watts charging on the smartphone. It isn't the fastest, especially on a Realme smartphone. There are way faster chargers out there, but 33 watts is like the minimum for me. Um, and it charges quite fast. And as for the battery, we got here the 5,000 mAh of battery. And uh, this is still the first impressions, but so far, I'm still quite happy with the battery that we're getting on the smartphone. Now, for one of the highlights of the Realme 10 Pro series. So for the display, we got here the 6.72 inch display. It's an LCD display, it's a Full HD Plus display, and it comes with a 120 Hz refresh rate. What I like about it is that we got here a pretty small bezels on the side. So as you can see in here, there's really thin bezels on the side. That's 1.15 millimeters on the side. There we go. And a 4.2 millimeters on the chin of the smartphone. Honestly, having an LCD display isn't the most ideal uh, display on its, even for its uh, range for the Pro series. I was actually expecting that we can get here an AMOLED display with at least 90 hertz refresh rate. But yeah, we got here 120 hertz refresh rate with um, an LCD display. It's quite 
disappointing for me that they didn't use an, L, uh, an OLED display. I still prefer having an OLED display. I mean, a lot of applications and games doesn't support more than 60 hertz uh, refresh rate on an LCD display, but here we are. The colors are still nice. It isn't an OLED level, but it's nice. The brightness is also nice, even if you're using the smartphone outside. So yeah, overall usage, uh, if you're not really heavily into the display, it isn't a problem for you. But if you like looking at the aesthetics, at the thin bezels of the smartphone, you would definitely appreciate the thin bezels on the Realme 10 Pro 5G. Now for the performance, the smartphone comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor and also a um, up to 16 gigs of RAM. That's an 8 gigs of RAM with an 8 gigs of extended RAM. So yeah, just let's just use the 8 gigs. For the storage, it's quite spacious at 256 gigs of internal storage. So the Realme 10 Pro 5G's 8 gigs of RAM, well, that's the standard. 8 gigs of RAM is already fine with me. It's a welcome upgrade that we got here, an extended RAM, another 8 gigs extended RAM on the smartphone. So yeah, I, I quite like it. And then as for the storage, 256 gigs, that is already spacious for me. You could install a lot of applications, a lot of games, and even store videos and um, a lot of music on that smartphone with that storage. So yeah, I do not have problems with that one. My problem is that it's still using the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor. It's a little bit lacking for me. The Snapdragon 695 isn't the most powerful out there. There are a lot of limitations with the Snapdragon 695. Yes, we could play a lot of games. I was even able to play games like uh, Genshin Impact on the smartphone, Call of Duty, of course. But whenever you're playing heavy games, like for example, what I mentioned, Genshin Impact, you would notice that there are some frame drops. You would notice that it isn't the best one when it comes to the performance. Yes, we do got your 5G, but again, it's still lacking in performance. I believe they uh, could have used a better MediaTek processor on this one, but yeah, the cost and um, everything, the, it, it's something that uh, Realme decided that, okay, we just use the 695 processor, but for the consumer side, I feel that uh, for gamers, they wouldn't appreciate that one. But if you're the type of consumer who only uses their smartphone for Facebook, social media applications, some casual games, you're not really into the higher graphic settings, then this Snapdragon 695 processor will be just fine for you. Now, one of the biggest upgrades on the smartphone is the camera. We got your 108 megapixel pro light camera and it comes with a Samsung HM6 sensor. Yeah, as you can see, we got here two cameras. One of them isn't an ultra wide, so that is a big disappointment. I mean, it's a mid-range smartphone, and yet we do not have here an ultra wide camera. For the selfie camera, we got here the 16 megapixel AI selfie camera, but yeah, we're gonna talk about the uh, quality later on. So one of the highlights of uh, the camera of the smartphone this time is the night mode. And yes, it has improved a lot. It isn't the best one, but it has improved a lot. It's a lot brighter and it's a lot better when it comes to the rear camera of the smartphone. I noticed in most of my shots, whether that's indoor or the night photography, uh, I noticed that it has more details. It's sharper than before. It's not the sharpest, but it's better than before. So the big camera upgrade is really noticeable on the Realme 10 Pro 5G. As for the selfie camera, well, it does have uh does miss a little bit of the skin tones but um the selfie camera is quite good actually than uh, than i expected it isn't overexposed most of the time and um i quite like the quality of uh, the selfie camera for its range so yeah i guess that's it for our first impressions of the realme 10 pro 5g i mean yes it is quite an interesting smartphone you do got your new design a uh, you know a camera that's a uh, quite an upgrade and the display that has a bezel-less look. I do love the bezel looks, bezel-less look on the Realme 10 Pro 5G. So yeah, I guess that's it for our video for today. So if you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my YouTube channel. So once again, I am Jamf, Jamonline.ph. Thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video.